I'm running with the Coast Guard. Just stay in the line with me. I can't. I gotta swim. We're gonna swim to run the end of runway two three. Only on 10 tonight, the harrowing moments after two East Greenwich residents ditched their plane in Narragansett Bay. The pilot using her cell phone to call for help from a quickly sinking plane. Hello once again, I'm Dan Janig. And I'm Emily Bowles. Shocking oh, how calm she sounded. Exactly. My goodness. NBC10's Aaron Coogan is here with that 911 call that was made last Saturday. Aaron. Yeah, well, guys, NBC 10 obtained the call with pilot Alicia Larson's permission. She was clear and calm as she summoned for help, hoping she and her husband would survive. I am in the East Greenwich Bay on an airplane that is sinking. I'm sorry, what? You're in East an airplane Brent that's sinking? Send emergency equipment to the end of runway 23 at Closet Air Park. On Saturday afternoon, Emergency Rhode Island's 911 center received this call. On the line, a surprisingly calm voice calling from a sinking plane in the middle of Narragansett Bay. I have a pretty good uh, recollection of what I said um, and, uh, and can still kind of envision that moment. Alicia and Paul Larson of East Greenwich were flying their 1961 Yellow Piper Comanche. They lost power half a mile from the Kwanzaa State Airport in North Kingstown. I wasn't, I wasn't scared. Like, I wasn't, I don't think, I mean, there's probably going to be a little edge in my voice. Um, but I think like we had talked about on Sunday, it was just doing the next thing. Utilizing her navigational skills, Alicia gave the 911 operator their location in the water off Quonset runway 23. It helped that the couple just completed a safety course with the Civil Air Patrol, learning what to say in an emergency. This is what needs to happen and this is how, what you say to 911. I didn't have enough time to say everything you should say and in the order you should say it. But just, again, the training, like mm. I had just done that course and it kind of was at the forefront of my mind. Divers went to the bottom of the bay this week to find the plane and lift it to the surface. They were also able to salvage a few personal items, including Larson's flight bag, which was returned to her today. The most important thing in this bag, which is gonna be hard to salvage, is my log book. And with time comes reflection. Okay, a little more sobered, maybe. I'm, I'm sobered by the question that 911 didn't get to ask me is how many souls. Usually when there's an airplane incident and you say mayday, they say, how many souls were aboard? There's a reason we say souls, right? It's like yeah. significant. Now the mother and father of five grateful to be back with their family. She and her husband are in good health. Meanwhile, investigation by the FAA is ongoing. Live in studio tonight, Aaron Coogan, NBC10.